Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and this video is gonna get you started with Harmony. Um, let's get going. So when you launch the app, you're gonna have to name whatever the file is. So let's just call this motion test. You choose where you're gonna save it. You could choose whatever type of a layout you want. I think I'm gonna do a 1080 by 1080. Always keep this at 24 and then just hit that create button. So it's going to take a little while to start because it's going to build a directory. But once it is set up, um, your screen should look like this. And if for some reason something's missing, what you should do is go to the Windows menu and then you can restore your default workspace. Okay, so I'm working on a Mac right now, so it's I'm going to go to the Preferences in the Harmony menu. But if you're on a PC, you would go to Edit, and way down here, you would see the Preferences menu. So let's go to the Preferences menu. We're going to do a couple of things. Um, in the General tab, you want to make sure that this is enabled, the Focus on Mouse Enter. Next one you should do is go to Exposure Sheet. And in that one, you want to go and click on this button right here. You want to make sure to extend exposure of the previous drawing. This is a really handy tool that you could turn on and off easily. But for now, as we get started, let's just make sure that that is enabled. Next, you would go to drawing and make sure the brush size cursor is on because you want to see where the brush is and what the size is going to be. Um, we can leave the rest of these untouched, except for advanced. Let's, this will be our last one. Uh, let's go and click on this button to support overlay and underlay. Um, make sure you hit the OK button so those things are enabled and then you're all set. So in this clip, you can kind of see a little bit of the animation process happening. And what we'll do is in another video, uh, explain in depth how to make this happen. All right, folks, so now that we've got our layers and our animation, it is time to go and save this. Okay, so let's get started. Um, once you're done and you have your animation ready to go, let's hit that save button one last time and then go to file, export, movie, and then once you've got that down, you need to choose your format. You could choose MOV or WMV, um, either one will work just fine. It just depends on if you're on a Mac or a Windows PC. So click that format. I'm going to go and give it a name. So let me go and hit the browse button and I'm going to choose my desktop as a location to save. I'm going to call this motion dash test dash two because maybe this is my second one. I'm going to click save. Now you can choose where it's gonna display and what displays. I wanna display all things. I can decide on only exporting a part of it or I can have all of the frames. It doesn't really matter. It all depends on what you have on your screen. I'm just gonna export from one to 50. So it's gonna stop right here in my timeline. You can click over here to do a smaller, half size, three quarter size, third size, um, or you could do a full size. Uh, it's up to you. Um, 1080 by 1080 is small, so that works. Okay, and then the last thing, you can just kind of leave this as is. I'm gonna click the OK button. All right, so there's our animation right there. All right, guys, go and have some fun with this and make a bunch of animations. Don't forget to save your motion tests. Every time you save one out, Give it a new a new name and a different number, like motion test three, four, five. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.